Hello friends, Osiris here. In today's video, we're going to go over the best builds to help you prepare for the brand new 7-star terror raid event for Blastoise when it goes live later this week in Scarlet and Violet. So scheduled to go live on the 6th of March later this week, the Blastoise 7-star terror raid event will be coming to Scarlet and Violet for the first time. We'll be able to get the mightiest mark on this Pokemon. It will be running from the 6th of March, as we say, at midnight UTC until Tuesday the 12th of March. So you're going to have a bunch of time to be able to take advantage of this raid event when it goes live. Blastoise, of course, will be a steel terror type. If we take a quick overview of the Blastoise, we can see some of the things we might expect from it of course it will be level 100 it will have that steel terror typing and it's likely going to have its hidden ability rain dish which recovers a little bit of health every turn when the rain is on the field indicative of maybe something that we see is rain dance because of that ability Blastoise is primarily a water type pokemon so we can see a flurry of water type attacks coming out of this pokemon but if we go down and start off with what its setup options are I think that gives us an idea of what we can maybe expect from this Blastoise. Like we've said with the Rain Dish ability, it would make sense that it would have the move Rain Dance, bringing the rain to the field for five turns, not only giving it health recovery each turn, but it will also give a huge boost to those water type attacks that it already has access to. Now, when you look through the options of what Blastoise has access to, to be able to set up in this match, one of the options that definitely sticks out is Shell Smash. That reduces the defense and the special defense on the Blastoise by one stage, but at the same time, it boosts the attack, the special attack and the speed of the Blastoise by plus two. So giving it a huge boost straight off the bat. This is something I could see maybe turn zero before the raid actually begins. Blastoise setting up that shell smash, setting up a rain dance and then maybe even nullifying all of its stat drops on its side of the field to get rid of those defense drops that it takes subsequently to setting up that shell smash. It's likely to see we might even see an attack off that turn and then nullify those attacks the next turn. But there's some situations that we can kind of think of in our head of what to expect the Blastoise to bring in this raid and why it could be very threatening when it is initially setting up. And I think really indicative to what Pokemon we want to be bringing to this raid. Now the other setup options it does have access to is Mist. That's going to prevent any stat drops on its side of the field for five turns as long as a Mist is in effect. We've seen that on previous seven star terror raid events in the past. So that's not out of the realms of possibility to see here does have haze as well so that could be something that we do see although probably not as likely because it is removing its stack boosts as well as ours if we do see the haze set up and iron defense is something else that kind of complements that shell smash and it's steel terror typing because it is going to boost those defense stats by two stages every time it uses it it has the rain if it's got rain dance to protect from fire type attacks and then the Iron Defense will primarily protect against those fighting type attacks, which is the other super effective attacking move that you can take in reliably against Steel type Pokemon. Now, overall, Blastoise doesn't have a lot of coverage moves. What I would expect to see on the Blastoise is the Water Spout. That is a move that's power is dictated by the amount of HP the Blastoise has. The more HP it has, the stronger that attack becomes. It has Hydro Pump as well, which is a very strong water type attack. Both of these are special type attacks. The one thing that I would say, if it is utilizing Shell Smash, gives a boost to both the attack and the special attack so we could see a mixed set here where it is taking advantage of physical attacks and special attacks to take full benefit from that shell smash boost wave crash is a physical water type attack that blastoise has access to and i wouldn't say it is too much of a stretch to see it on this set complementing maybe a hydro pump or a water spout Flash Cannon makes a lot of sense because of the steel terror typing that it's got it's going to have at least one steel type attack Aura Sphere is a fighting type attack that it does get access to, special typing attack. Blizzard Ice Beam make a lot of sense. They're special ice type attacks that Blastoise has access to. Ice Spinner is the physical variant that Blastoise has access to, so it could use Ice Spinner as well. Also would be able to remove terrains from the field that could be quite annoying for it to deal with. And then for a little bit of coverage, it might be out of the realms of possibility, but Zen Headbutt is something that it does get access to and would give it a little bit of coverage against potentially those fighting types that are going to be brought to this raid and could make it quite difficult for a lot of Pokemon. Maybe some of the ones that we're suggesting in this video. But all in all, Blastoise not the best with its coverage, but definitely has some really deadly setup options with the Rain Dance, the Shell Smash, and even that Iron Defense and the Mist that we've thrown in there. They're the things that I would expect to see in it going into this raid. 
Of course, as always, it's going to have its 30 times multiplier to its HP because it is a seven star terror raid, but it will all come down to when it resets our stat drops, our abilities on our side of the field, and when it resets its stat drops as well dictating how and what Pokemon we can bring against it. So with all of that information that we know about Blastoise, what we can maybe expect to see going into the raid, these are some of the builds that I've put together in preparation for this raid event. Of course, it goes without saying, some of these builds might not work as and when we get into the raid. It will all depend on how it interacts with us, when it does reset our stats, it resets its stats, and when that shield goes up. So these are just some preliminary builds, some ideas. Hopefully they spark some ideas for yourself, but these are builds that I could see working against Blastoise in a variety of situations. But again, it will come down to when the raid goes live, whether or not these work in testing. Of course, we always do a best build when the raid has gone up, when we've done a testing process, and we figured out the most consistent build going forward. But as always, if you're interested in any of the builds that we're featuring in today's video, they're all linked down in the description so you can take a closer look at them after the video if you want to put any of them together yourself. Although I would always pre-caution you to maybe wait until the raid goes live before you actually put anything together in game. But we're going to start off with the Polyrath. It is one of my top picks going in pre the raid going live. Polyrath just feels like such a good Pokemon against the Blastoise. It's got the fighting stab that's going to be good against that steel terror typing that the Blastoise has. Blastoise outside of Zen Headbutt doesn't really have a good way to really damage the Polyrath stuff. It doesn't have Zen Headbutt. You can see Polyrath having a really easy time against this Blastoise. We've given it the Expert Bell item. The terror type is fighting and it is level 100, hyper trained of course. Make sure that all those IVs are set to 31. The moveset that we've opted for for the Polyrath is gonna be Belly Drum, Amnesia, Haze, and Drain Punch. And then the ability is the big important one here, which is that Water Absorb. So it gives it complete immunity against any of those big, powerful water type attacks that the Blastoise can throw out at us. Primarily, I'm really worried about that turn zero where it sets up the rain, it sets up a Shell Smash, and it fires off a potential Water Spout, which could wipe out a lot of Pokemon, but with the water absorbability, there are other abilities like Storm Drain as well that other Pokemon get access to. This gives you the alleviation against that potential setup. So it might not even come to fruition, but if it does, then Polyrath is going to be in a good place where it's not taking any damage that turn one. The EV spread that we've went for, because it could potentially be a mixed set, is going to be 252 EVs in HP and then 252 EVs in attack with the rest put into special defense and an adamant nature. The basic premise of this is gonna be hit turn one. You can even go for a haze if we see that turn zero shell smash. Then you could go for an amnesia, then set up your belly drum if you're in a good spot and then just fire off those drain punches. It's gonna be boosted by the expert belt as well as recovering health throughout the raid and the water absorb gonna be there to just give you that complete immunity even after you have terrestrialized with those big powerful water type attacks that could come from the Blastoise. The next choice is a familiar face. This is a Pokemon that we used to very good effect against the recent seven star Empoleon raid. And this is going to be the fire terror type Vaporeon. I feel again, this one could be very good against this Blastoise. We've got the fire terror typing here, the shell bell as the held item. That's going to give us a line of recovery throughout the raid. When we are attacking it is level 100. Hyper trained, of course with the moveset of Sunny Day, Calm Mind, Haze, and Weather Ball. Now the Haze can be changed for fake tears, but again, if we are seeing something like the Shell Smash from the Blastoise, probably not a bad idea to Haze early on just to remove those boosts that the Blastoise has got access to. Sunny Day is gonna be there to override the rain that we're likely gonna see from the Blastoise. And then Calm Mind gives us the boost to our special defense and more importantly, our special attack with that weather ball, which is gonna be a fire type attack when the sun is active on the field. We've got the most important thing on the Vaporeon as well. Again, is that ability, which is the water absorb. So even after you do terrestrialize into that Terra fire type, you're still gonna be immune to any water type attacks that the Blastoise fires out, and it's gonna recover damage as you go. So the EV spread is gonna be 252 EVs in special attack, 252 EVs in special defense, and the remaining four EVs put into that HP stat. So that is the Vaporeon. I still think a very good option, especially if you did that Empoleon raid a few weeks ago. This one could be something that you already have built in your game, ready to go for this raid when it goes live on Wednesday. Next up is gonna be Annihilate. Of course, I'm gonna mention Annihilate. It is a very good, strong fighting type. And of course, it's gonna be probably quite good against the Blastoise. We've got level 100. We've got the Expert Belt as the held item. Terror typing is fighting. We've got the moveset of Sunny Day, Screech, Bulk Up, and Drain Punch. Defiant is the ability. 
and then we've got the EV spread of 252 in HP, 252 in Special Defense, and an Adamant Nature. The basic idea is going to be to override the rain if the Blastoise sets that up as soon as possible, reducing the damage of those water type attacks. We're going to try and get the Screeches off. Just bear in mind that Screech won't work through the shield. So if the shield goes up early, this might not be an option, and there might be better options on the Annihilate. So that will be determined as and when the raid goes live. Bulk up's always going to be good to boost your attack and your defense stat, making those drain punches hit a lot harder. And then after you trastalize, you're just going to basically spam the drain punches, get your sunny day up whenever the rain goes up, and utilize the screech whenever you can to lower the defense on the Blastoise by two stages. So that is the Annihilate. I do think could be quite a good option. There's always the argument that you could put Rage Fist on there as well, which is going to be a very big damaging attack as well. But all in all, I think Annihilate, not a bad choice going into this raid before it goes live. And finally today, we've got the Coriodon. I do feel like Coriodon is a very good option into Blastoise. There are a few things that you have to worry about with Coriodon, but it could still be a very strong option going into this raid. Terra Typing is going to be fighting. Expert Belt is going to be the held item. Level 100, Hyper Trained, of course. Moveset is going to be Sunny Day, Screech, Sword Stance, and Drain Punch. We've got the ability where it is going to summon the Sun to the field as soon as you come into the battle, but likely we're going to see that turn zero where the Blastoise sits at the rain. That's going to override the Sun. So that's the reason why we've got Sunny Day on this Coriodon, just to override that rain, just put us in a stronger position. Then, a bit like the Annihilate, we're going to rely on the Screech if the shield isn't up to lower the defense stats on the Blastoise. Sword Stance is to boost our attack whenever we've got the opportunity to. And then Drain Punch is going to be there to do big damage, super effective damage, as well as recovering our health throughout the raid. Now, the EV spread that we've got on this Coriodon is going to be 252 in attack and then 252 in special defense and then an adamant nature. Now, if it is a mixed Blastoise, you could probably go down the lines of going for all of that special defense investment into the HP, but I don't think this EV spread is too far off the mark anyway. I think the only thing you're going to have to worry about with Coriodon to the point before you terrestrialize is going to be the ice type attacks that could come out from it. Blizzards, ice beams, ice spinners, especially if it is using that shell smash as an ability. But the dragon typing definitely gives you a nice advantage against those water type attacks that the Blastoise would probably try and take advantage of. And the steel type attacks aren't super effective into either. So these are the four builds that I would say are the ones I've earmarked going into this raid when it goes live. I do really like the look of Polyrath, but Vaporeon might just come out on top as well. But again, like I always say, it's worth waiting until the raid goes live. These are just some ideas to inspire some builds from yourself or get some ideas at least started with the raid coming up later this week so it'd be great to hear what your opinion is on what some of the pokemon you're thinking about bringing to this raid when it goes live of course like i've already mentioned we will have a best solo build going up shortly after the raid goes live after we've done that initial testing with what i deem to be the most consistent accessible pokemon to take into this raid because it's likely it's going to have those herba mystica drops like the venusaur did so it's a really good one to take advantage of while it is running and you're going to have a full week to do it to top up those Herba Mysticas if that's what we see. But hope you found today's video useful friends. If you have, do drop a like, do hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon content. I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.